Welcome to the week ahead. Headlines. Nominations for general election to begin. IMF to announce dates for third review soon. Deflation to persist in the coming months. Starting this Friday, nominations for the November 14th general elections will begin, while tomorrow marks the last day for accepting applications for postal votes. This time, Gampaha has the highest allocation of parliamentary seats and Trincomalee the lowest. This election is crucial for President Visanayake, who requires at least a simple majority in parliament to consolidate his power and appoint a fully-fledged cabinet. The IMF will soon announce the dates for the third review under the Extended Fund Facility Program. So far, the IMF has disbursed around $1 billion through the program. During IMF's recent visit, President Anura Kumar Adisanayake reaffirmed his broad agreement with the objectives of the program, but suggested alternative means to reduce the burden on the public. The president also said that he wants to conclude a final deal with the international sovereign bondholders who hold $12.5 billion in external debt. The Central Bank of Sri Lanka forecasts deflation to continue in the coming months following the negative 0.5% deflation in September, the first in 39 years. Deflation is expected to continue until eventually prices stabilize and align with the central bank's medium-term inflation target of 5%. This deflation is driven by improved supply conditions and business activity reflected in the expanding private credit. Although deflation is not a good economic indicator, in Sri Lanka's case, it should help bring back the lost purchasing power, helping boost consumer spending. And that's the wrap for this week. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated on the latest developments in Sri Lanka. Until next time, have a great day.